guys, I'm just editing a quick video that I recorded yesterday. I was at the bakery with Mark and we felt like some acai balls. So I made some granola from scratch. And then I also ordered some sachets of a uh, frozen acai puree to kind of blend up an acai smoothie. This is like your basic granola recipe and it is the best recipe that I've tried and I continuously use. And you can kind of switch things up if you want to. Um, let's get started. <laughs> Apologies in advance, the first two shots are out of focus. So we're starting off with four cups of rolled oats. A bit more, a bit less doesn't really matter, so you don't have to be super specific. And then I chuck in some dried nuts, about a cup and a half altogether. I'm using a mix of almond nuts and pecan, and I'm just giving them a rough chop, and those just go straight over the oats. And then I add a handful of shredded coconut. I actually add some before and after baking the granola, so you get kind of both that toasted coconut and the untoasted, which is lovely. Then I chuck in a handful, literally, of pepita seeds or sunflower seeds you can use. Here I've got a tablespoon of flax seeds and a tablespoon of chia seeds, and I give that all a good mix. And then in a separate bowl, I mix the wet ingredients, so I've got half a cup of extra virgin coconut oil, and then you can also use light olive oil or like vegetable oil. And then I add half a cup of 100% maple syrup. You can also use it a mix of like honey and other syrups that you like. And I add some vanilla extract, a pinch of salt and give that a good whisk. And that goes straight onto the bowl of the dry ingredients. And then you give that a good mix. You might think that you need more liquid at the start. Just give it a minute or two to kind of settle in and you'll see that you're all good. And then I forgot to add some cinnamon powder. Love my cinnamon powder. And then I put that on a baking sheet and I was just re reusing like one of the baking papers that they had at the bakery. And then I put it in the oven 160 degrees for about 15 minutes. Here's us making some almond butter using some roasted almonds. And while I was waiting for the granola to bake, I was just watching Mark do his thing with the bread. He is making some basic French country loaf. Pain de campagne, so it's just basic sourdough. Un pain de campagne. Pain de campagne. Um, that's while the granola was baking, so that was for about 15 minutes, and then I gave it a good mix, and then left it in there for another 10 minutes until it was uh, golden brown. So after that additional 10 minutes, uh, this was the granola, which was perfectly golden brown, and then I sprinkled in some more shredded coconut and some dried fruits. Uh, if I add the dried fruits before, they kind of go really dry and hard in the oven, so I leave it till after baking the granola. You can also add goji berries and raisins and dried blueberries. While it was cooling, I prepared the smoothie part of the acai, so I added some frozen pureed acai. You can also use powder. I added some frozen bananas, berries, and almond milk. Then I remembered last minute to add some avocado as well, which made it beautifully nice and creamy. So anyway, this is the plating, and it's so much fun putting these together. I've got the acai smoothie, then the fresh granola, some sliced banana, some blueberries, and then I also added some of that almond butter that we made. You can also use whatever you want and you don't have to add any of this. Use whatever you have at hand. Also, I love cocoa nibs on my acai bowls. I don't know why I didn't add any here, but next time I definitely will. And that's it. It was super easy. It came together real quick. And here's Happy Mark enjoying his acai bowl. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. It's definitely one of those recipes to keep at hand and you can kind of add whatever you want to it and um, it never fails you. This granola recipe never fails you. I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up, uh, if it was helpful or entertaining by any means. Also, if you want to see more content of Mark baking, let me know down below in the comments because I think it is so mesmerizing and so relaxing to watch a baker baking. <laughs> Thanks guys, see you next time.